Well, here in Florida, we're used to all those thunderstorms, right? But forecasting where and when they're going to pop up, that's the tricky part. Storm expert Steve Fendero here at First Coast News explains what exactly that chance of rain in a forecast actually means in his latest Science with Steve. How's everyone doing? I'm sitting outside and I am dry and it is not raining. Lately, someone's been doing a rain dance and it's been working pretty well. I think it was Grandpa Tony. Seriously though, we've been soaked through the year so far. We've got about 10 inches above normal rainfall and rain in a forecast can sometimes be the most misunderstood. Chance of rain, we see it all the time. 30% there, 40% there, 60% there. Why did it rain? There was only a 40% chance of rain. Why didn't it rain? You said 40% chance. But there's actually a formula behind it and it makes so much sense. Confidence by area, equals percent chance of rain, or as us weather geeks like to call it, probability of precipitation, pop. If I'm 100% confident that it'll rain over 60% of us, 60% chance of rain. If I'm only 70% confident that it's going to rain over 50% of us, 35% chance of rain. But realistically here, if I gotta put a suit and tie on, throw some makeup on, and go up on live TV and give you a forecast, I'm gonna talk about what I'm pretty confident in. So when we give you a percent chance of rain, think of it as coverage area. 70% chance of rain, I'm thinking 70% of us we'll see some rain, but it doesn't rain everywhere. And that's where we come in handy. You see 30% chance of rain. Okay, some of us are gonna get some rain. Who's gonna get some rain? And we could talk about who's gonna get some rain. That all makes sense. Drinking some espresso, pretty wired. So think of it like that, coverage areas. We're not necessarily gonna talk about something on live TV that we're not so confident is gonna happen. Salute.